Hey everybody, Grips here, and as always, thanks for joining me. Now we understand the importance of music. Music can tell you a story whether you're happy, sad, or something dramatic or exciting is about to happen. The problem is most of us don't know how to play musical instruments, so we rely upon what music is out there. In today's video, I'm gonna show you AI websites that can create your very own music. You can edit this music to suit your needs. I'm gonna show you two websites that are not quite AI, but you do have a lot of options to customize it to your needs. And the first one is called Audio Hero. So on the left-hand side, you can see that you have options to change the journal, like if you want ambience or blues or children, and then you simply click the ones. The maximum length is 25 minutes, and for some reason, 21 seconds. You can go mood and tempo. Now you can also have an option here by doing a search or keywords. Let's say you want ambient or relaxing or meditation. Once the software spits out that combination, you can just simply click and play like I have here. Now obviously if you put in the right length, one minute or 30 seconds, it will spit out roughly around about that one minute or 30 second mark. And if this is what you're after, then you can download it. And that's Audio Hero. The next one is Epidemic Sound. Very similar to Audio Hero, it's virtually the same. You go here to the browse and it gives you categories just like Audio Hero. So let's pick uh, Classical. And then from here, we also have the options of mood, journals, duration, the bit rate, in other words, you want 120 tempo, 130 tempo, and if you want vocals in there, let's say you want moods, and then you can just click the mood that you want. You want happy plus glamorous or euphoric, and then it will just spit it out. You have the options to add more if you wish. And again, exactly like the last one, you can just play. All right, that's your thing, <laughs> and that's what it is. And again, it's all customable, customizable to suit the length of your video. The only problem with the both these sites, let's say, for instance, you want to have a specific node on a specific piece of your clip, you're going to find it very hard to do, and that's where the AI software comes into. The first website is Ava. It's an AI website. In other words, it will generate the music that you're looking for according to the input that you give it. The first thing you want to do is you want to create a track and then it gives you options, very similar to what you saw with uh, Epidemic Sound. You can go over here and it says Preset Styles. So what, now what you can do, you can already start narrowing it down to what type you're after. So let's go for something like here, like an orchestra. Now this is the cool thing about it. Instead of reading what type of feeling you want from it, it gives you little emojis and says, well, do you want to be happy, sad, worried, crying, or an angry? So this is basically the sets the tone. So for this one, we're just going, I think that looks like, yeah, whatever. And then we can also then generate the length. So I'm after, say, just a 30 second clip for my intro. So I'm going to click 30 seconds. And here's the cool part. You can generate up to five different tracks based on what you've just put in. So let's create these tracks. So I'm just going to create two for now. Create tracks. And now the AI will then start putting it together. And then from here, we can then edit it. On average, it'll probably take you from anywhere from five seconds to the more complex two to three minutes for the software to spit out your little combination. But because of the power of editing, I just sped this up. Now, the first thing I want to do is here's the two that the AI just generated for me. And let's have a little listen. Okay, so if that is what you're after, you can now take it one step further. You can right click on here and you see open in editor or you can just simply use this little icon here, sorry, editor here. So let's just open this up in editor. So this is what we, this is the editing platform. Now it does look intimidating and if you're musically inclined, you'll pick up on this really, really fast. But if you're not, I'll quickly show you how easy it is to actually customize this. You can also go into the spectator view and it just shows you the whole song from start to finish. So everything, all these little squares represents a note or a beat or something. So let's go back into the editor. Now you could see in the beginning when I tried to preview it, it took a couple of seconds to play. This is not what I'm after. So I can click and drag this so it can come in a lot earlier than, than what I wish. So I can save some dead time there. And then also here I can change the tempo. Maybe the tempo is too slow for me. And then I can increase that tempo. And I'm going to hit apply now. Watch. See, now it updates. Now here's the thing. If I wish to preview it because I've made a change, you're going to get this little pop-up. And basically it says to you, download the desktop app. So then you can just automatically preview it without making any changes. If you do use this software, I highly recommend it. 
I've already downloaded it, but for the demonstration, I didn't actually turn it on. Otherwise, what we need to do is press Save Changes. So I'll do that. Yes, Save Changes. Yes, and that's fine. And now what you can do, it'll then update the changes, and then you can press Play. So now we can press play. So there you go. So you can do a lot of things with this because you can change all these options. Like, And again, you do need some basic understanding with music. But if you type in what you want and you want the AI to do it, I guarantee you, you're going to get pretty close to what you want. Because after all, you have up to five options to change something. Click and let's move it anywhere you want. And this is how easy you can change it. It is a bit of a learning curve, but hey, it's, it's a lot better than trying to learn music from the start. And the next one I'm going to show you is right now. Sound Draw is the next AI, and I think this one is probably a lot easier to use than the last one. And I think you'll agree. So you can ch change the mood or the theme. So let's say we're doing a flog. So you click flog, then you can go into the journal or style. So let's say something like, hey, it's cinematic. We can then look at the length and let's do something very simple and pick a 30 second intro. And this is the beauty about it because you're just doing small bits of clips here and there and you just want to make sure the music is right. The problem with a lot of the music is that you have a 30 second clip and the music you find online is two, three minutes long and then you somehow try to make it work. Okay, select tempo and select the instruments. Let's just leave it as is and create the music. And it's going to spit out quite a few options. So here we go. So it also tells you the beats. So it's 108 here, it's 100 here, 74 here. So depending on the tempo that you want, let's go for something that's a little bit faster. Let's try this one. All right, you can speed that up. Okay, now let's say you want this, but it's not quite 100%. Well, fear not, let's edit that. So you're going to get this little pop up here and here you can then still change the length, the beats per minute, the instruments, the key and the volume. Now over here, if everything goes into eight seconds, that different music will give you different length. I think six to eight seconds on average. You can also press play again to hear it. Now, if it's brown, that means this drum is not in the first eight seconds. But if it's a light blue, yes, it is. And if it's a strong purple, that means it's a very strong uh, note. I, I'm not musically inclined, so I don't know the technical terms, but basically this one comes in soft and this one comes in loud. Now, if you want to add drums into the beginning, because in the preview I didn't hear any drums, let's add drums, and then we can preview it. All right, so now you can clearly hear a drum in the background. So you have lots of options to change it. You can also have it where it comes in hard or comes in soft. And again, this is all generated by AI. So for what I like about this, if you have somewhere in the video that you really want to accentuate, then you can say, well, on the 16 second, I raise my hands up in the air and enjoy it. Well, then I want the music to be dramatic. Well, you have that at your fingertips. So have a look at Sound Draw, and I highly recommend it. So these are the options that you have now to make your videos to the next level or take it to the next level and i'd highly recommend it because telling a good story needs good sound and as always thanks for watching